my star children it's wonderful to be back sorry for the long extended break i do um note my voice will be a little quiet and a little soft for a bit um i am doing my best to not strain my voice but i didn't want to wait before i streamed anymore so um you'll have to just deal with an unusually quiet tentacle monster for a little bit my apologies um today we will be showing from the Indies Showcase the heroic legend of Iagarlinia, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm not entirely sure. Fantasy world with lots of consonants. Nothing wrong with that. So let's go ahead and let's get a new game started. Um, oh, good. Chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. Lawful neutral. Ooh, you're fun looking. Well, good. There's a lot of countries available. Crap, it just keeps going. Okay, let's pick someone easy. And looks like Lynn Lerner is particularly good with economic growth. Uh, she's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, no, audio should be fine on my end. It might just be pumping through a little loud on your side, media, but I'll give it a smidge of a touch. See if that helps a little. All right. Let's. Uh, beginner mode. Clap and a half. Clap and a half for a game dev that includes a beginner mode. Sorry, it does not happen in a lot of complicated games. And it's really, really important to me that, that they do. As a calm breeze passes by, the leaves and branches of the trees gently rustle, momentarily breaking the serenity of the quiet forest. This was Echo Forest, home to the not Lanillary Elves and the sole sanctuary of peace and tranquility in a world today so wrought by chaos. Today, Delantis Greenleaf has decided to stroll around her lush kingdom, a brief moment of respite from her duties. With their mo her most trusted subordinates in tow, the majestic Larry Queen observed the daily lives of her people as she eased her weary mind and body in the comforts of nature. However, the sight of a withered yellow leaf among the foliage immediately caught her attention. With the forest being dense with evergreen flora, its vegetation retained its verdancy throughout the entire year, meaning there should exist no signs of wilting or withering. 
Only in unusual circumstances should such discoloration occur within the Echo Forest, proving that the conflict beyond its less boundaries was not as simple as it seemed. Using her magic, Delantis injected power into nature into the withered leaf, rejuvening it to its natural green state. Owie, are you there? Hearing the queen summon Owie Mon Morning Dew, the sworn guardian of the Echo Forest, emerged from the thick of it thicket and respectfully knelt down before Delantis. Seeing the leaf in the Lanari, Lanlari Queen's hand, she had swiftly realized the reason for her summon. Forgive me, my queen. This is due to my negligence. Thank you, Mithya. I'm glad I'm back, too. And uh, it, was, it was fairly productive. <laughs> you have always been dutiful in your service. However, we must remember that even a single yet seemingly trivial mistake can spell dire consequences, potentially rendering your efforts meaningless. I shall take your words of wisdom to heart. Hereby swear in the name of Thea that this will never happen again. May her blessing continue to grace the Echo Forest. Mayfair, Afniel, forget the withered leaf you saw and do not speak of this matter to anyone else. As you wish. Understood, my queen. Pausing for a brief moment, Mayfair fixed her attention on listening to the sound of the incoming winds. My queen, the sound of the wind has become more and more tumultuous as of late. And being plagued by erratic disturbances, it will be far more difficult to trace Her Highness Eludus's whereabouts. Furthermore, the western winds from the forest of eternal night tell me that the patience the assimilates is running thin. They will be on the move very soon. It seems that the moment is upon us to make our move. If we don't, it'll be too late to change things once they reach the point of no return, so much so that even not that even I will not be able to alter their course. Svenedil. Svenedil? Svenedil. Starting from tomorrow, you will not have to accompany me. I do not wish to take you away from your duties and train the men, especially now than ever. But, my queen, I know that you are trying to say, but rest assured, I will be fine. Yes, understood. Mayfair, I understand now what I must do. It's time that I let go of this wild goose chase. My connection with the Eulidus has long been broken. Even I cannot locate her, then there's little hope that anyone else can or will. It is possible that she has left to Igarlinia or other worlds, or perhaps she already passed away long ago. I can understand how you feel, my queen. I will do my best to gather as much information as possible the outside world with the aid of our fellow winds. Thank you. Delantis looks at the sky as her face grows solemn. I promised that man that I would protect the world he once lived in and loved so deeply. Okay, so got got some actual story elements to our leaders, which I appreciate. And guy for the time being, let's get started. This world using the world of power monarch from the land of Loud. To do this, you need to expand your territory, bolster your economy, recruit talented heroes, conquer the opposing powers that surround you. Actually, you need to make careful decisions and assign appropriate personnel to carry out your orders, but first things first. The upper left hand corner of the screen displays your current gold, the game's primary currency. Right next to it is your national power, which influences many of the game's aspects. Imperative to understand that the game revolves around these two values. Here's a quick visual to illustrate what I mean by this. Gold can be spent to recruit and improve the power of heroes and troops. Heroes and troops form the foundation of your military army, which can then be used to invade neighboring cities and even gain control of them. To acquire more cities, your income and national power will increase, which in turn allows you to use, continue using more gold to improve your military. This constant cycle will eventually lead to the conclusion of your conquest. Okay, that was a handy dandy little sheet. I wonder if you didn't to facilitate your process, you've been granted magical protection. So no enemy will attack you for the time being. In the meanwhile, I'll guide you step by step to help ease you in. As a monarch, you'll need to appoint the key members of your government. By allocating appropriate individuals, your governing abilities will become more effective. Select govern and then appoint to bring up the appointment menu. Govern. Appoint. Chancellor, Marshal, Diplomat, Treasurer. Each position is influenced by specific hero tributes and talents. Uh, Chancellor is the most important official as they govern your territory. Politics is the primary tribute 
that determines their effectiveness. Marshal serves as the backbone of your military, as they're in charge of security of your nation. Force is the primary tribute for effectiveness. Um, diplomat, obviously, charisma, treasury, wisdom, primary tribute. sense to put Mayfair in there then. Marshall is definitely Affy Dell. No, that's not his name, but that's not that's what I'm going with. teaching oh hmm. still income will be essential improve your income and national powers will need to increase the prosperity levels of three so the best command Investment order. Each city can only invest it once each turn. Now let's try managing taxes. But finance. Financial information on the state of your economy. Commerce primarily divided into city and trade income. City income and be raised to the invest command. Trade income is obtained through signing trade agreements with their powers through the treaty command. Be mindful that your diligent officials aren't operating a charity service. Territory expands, so does their gold upkeep cost while they remain in office. The gold upkeep cost of your heroes will also increase when they level up or when you acquire more of them. It's your barrack upkeep cost. This is based on the total number and level of your troops. Any class troops will drain even more gold to maintain your army. It's for the actual tax rate. This is proportion of your current city income. This is raised. Your city income increases with the expensive city improvement. City sentiment also determines the percentage of gold it generates. Due to this, we generally want to prioritize on maintaining stable, or high sentiment levels. Try dragging the slider and the tax cascade to reduce it. Also, don't forget to make sure that city sentiment is increasing. That done, you can also send your other idle heroes to execute an investment order in another city. You can only perform one action per turn. Simply end your turn by selecting the hourglass. So this is this is anime Civ, but with emphasis on military decisions rather than a grid map. Interesting. Uh, magic styles, I primarily like to go with uh, 
Boros or Orzov, red, white, or red, black. And uh, Vampire Clans, unfortunately, it's been so long since I've played any, I don't know the clans off the top of my head. Oh, we got some EXP. Oh, it's good. Um, heroes are important. Search for heroes. Give some more investment orders while we've got the opportunity. Let me assist you. Coming over with coins in hand. One win from the south can endure several challenges. Must resort against an attack where city's defense strength is determined by its defense value. Fortified command reinforces the defense of the city, making it easier to end off the biters. Then let's try using the fortified command. Select the city. Gotcha. turn. Bonar Skull Splitter. Glad to meet you. Coordinate maintain order which is our uh, bound duty. Section of drill command. Increase the level of your troops, make them more powerful in battle. Try issuing drill. Drill. Drill interface. You can use you view your faction's available troops as well as their statistics and upkeep costs. Notice that some are locked, but they will be available after reaching specific national power thresholds. Five ranks based on strength, number of diamonds, single star instead. Find heroes to experience specific troops we're choosing. Sign up to three heroes to execute a drill order once a troop has reached level five. Further training will require specific materials and additional gold cost.
okay. So, we've got to hit start before it counts. Hey, pumpkin. Good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're just chilling out and checking our indie showcase game for the day. A legend. The heroic legend of a Garlina. Linea? I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Oh. Oops, excuse me. Which seems to be basically anime sit. Some different changes, but nothing that I'm complaining about so far. Possession. Oh, There's some coins, but I worked hard for it. Uh. One step closer. Extend beyond the scope of your terrors. Let's start with sabotage command. You can the city by reducing the city defense value at the end of your turn, making it more susceptible to capture one attack. However, success is not guaranteed, so keep that in mind. Be sure to order. Okay. Okay. to literally try to lobby the other kingdom's heroes away from them. That's kind of awesome. And it's been rough. Um, I've not had a voice for about a week now, and that's been rough as a streamer, as you can imagine. I don't like not being able to talk. And let's try and lobby for this cutie. little treasure hunters go on the bright side I have been hired to be an official narrator for a book series I am excited about that I'm just finishing up reading the book now and it is a, a, a deliciously sexy smutty book and I'm going to enjoy it Ooh, we found somebody You're a cutie.
Got some sabotage done. Level up yet. I feel like somebody should have leveled up by now. Negotiations are crucial to success as it allows you to avoid becoming public enemy number one. Establishing a treaty, you can prove income by setting trade agreements with other factions or force temporary alliances with them. Let's try to negotiate with someone. trade nice trade agreement oh we actually got her awesome Sorry. Taking it easy, doing an indie showcase, and checking out this lovely and incredibly in depth game. <laughs> nice. Go, Grana. Aw, thank you, Storm. Success of this plan is a result of our joint efforts. Everyone has grown a lot. Level two for the soldiers. Someone almost loved ready to level up. Army, which can be managed through your barracks. Let's over there now. 
barracks. Attack and defend heroes must be added to the barracks. If you find that there's not enough space, you can expand it by being able to upgrade it. Here you can use the change unit function to switch between the different types of troops you've unlocked. An armory is going to cost you gold and lots of it. The more troops you have, the more you must spend on that upkeep. Heroes rise in level, the number of troops they can command will increase. Troops will also become more expensive. You'll level them through drill orders. As a monarch, it's your duty to keep your economic and diplomatic situation in mind when managing your army. If it's too small or weak, you run the risk of being attacked. Also, heroes that have already carried out other orders will be unable to attack, or they can still defend your cities during the end of your turn. Launch an attack. Special heroes lost health. Now let's overwhelming force this shit. That might have been a little excessive, but that's fine. Uh, interesting. Here's the battlefield. I'm going to bring up a vigil to cover some of the basics. Make sure you go over it carefully, all right? Um, I should scale my Quite Oof, that was that was brutal. That was just a wipeout. Direct assault on the enemy city. Decided the unit formations you can begin the battle. Oh, so I can move them around. This is just their natural position. This doesn't help me if I don't remember what each series of troops does. Oh. Ah! Mage. Ranged. Mage. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, 
foremost, we have to take out... Like, this is an entire involved combat uh, deal. Okay, just gotta break this wall down. Meteor arrow. That wall can't stand up much longer, can it? taken and some hero level ups <laughs> let's uh, invest in our new place Start close sentiment. This must be proved. Uh, quickly proved. Organized celebration. Celebrate. So it's only heroes with renown of some sort that improve sentiments. Good thing I have a lot of money. I'll be leaving the rest to you. If you got everything, check the manual.
Let's go. I don't need drill instead. And that assigns all my heroes for another one. Yeah, I really like them. I like the uh, the the fantasy flavor is strong, sure, but there's some elements of. Uh, uh, romance period and stuff like that and I really enjoy them Nobody has any bonuses, so... So that's all the folks I can send out that way. Now it's real. Uh, 
time enough to expand the barracks. Yeah, everything takes gold, so can't do anything with any of the euros I have that I haven't assigned. Oh, why, hello, ma'am. I like the cut of your jib. That fabulous hat. Okay, that's fine. No idea what's going on, but I think I just lost. It was a close fight, but we took it.
ないそうだI think the red and white ones are mostly direct attack. Hmm. Don't think this is going to go well for me. I think we're probably good for today. Sorry, I'm feeling a little tired. I'm not as... Maybe not as up for this as I had hoped, but at least we got the chance to show off one of the IGC games, so we don't have to make them wait any longer on that. I hate making them wait for a uh, showcase. Um, so, opinions. Uh, this is going to be an intense game that I play off stream for fun. Um, it is probably not going to be a regular go-to streaming game, but... It is um, incredibly in-depth, very tricky, and there is so much here. Oh my goodness. If you're a fan of strategy games, you're going to just just eat this up. So, gets a full-hearted endorsement for, from this tentacle monster. So, um, as much as I would love to keep going, like I said, I'm just... My voice is just not happy with me today, so give me just a moment while I determine who we're going to raid over to, and then we'll go visit. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Let's go raid Small Terra. I haven't seen Small Terra in a bit, so let's go raid over to her. Alright, thank you everybody, and remember, hold your loved ones close. You never know when the stars might align. See y'all next time.